everybody. Today I am joining you from the middle of a parking lot, in, right in front of an antique mall. And you may be thinking to yourself, what on earth is going on? Okay, I thought that you covered Disney stuff, not antique stuff. Well, that is because this antique mall has a reputation for having some of the coolest and the most unique Disney secondhand uh, things inside of it. We're talking props from the, ho the hotels. Uh, and I saw specifically a Facebook post about how they just got in a ton of cast member uniforms and costumes uh, and that they're selling for super duper cheap. Personally, I really want to find a cool cast member costume. I think that would be the coolest thing to own something that I could like wear, maybe like dress up for Halloween or something like that. It seems cool. It is really hard to capture the scale of all of this, but you start with aisle A over there and then you move on. I think it stops at J and there's a J. So you got aisle, 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 aisle. And then it goes really far back. Way, 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 way far back there. So this area right here, recycling the magic, this is um, like, the, the, they have a few booths. This is just one of them um, that I'm, I'm looking at. But like, look, here is a Hostess uh, MGM VIP tour guide costume. Look at that. I can also see in here, <laughs> you got some Disneyland name tags. Columbia, uh, is that Columbia Harbor House like, house, like salt and pepper shakers? Or are these Disneyland salt and pepper? Oh, look at that. You have some Trader Sam's Tiki mugs. That one's $95. That's $195. Look at the golden piranha. I have a normal piranha. I do not have a golden piranha. That looks amazing. Here are some animation cells. This is a Winnie the Pooh animation cell for $1,150. You got, <laughs> these are some really insane. Like, that is a full Eeyore. That is so, so cool. So that was just one area. You got pops, you got pins, you got lots more pops. You got some lounge flies over here. Look at this scar lounge fly. I mean, these are all insane, right? There's honestly too much to show. Then let me see if I can, let me see if I can find what I came here for, which is the costumes, the cast member costumes. I think that they're in the back. <laughs> I'm still on my way back there. That's where I started. This is where I'm going. But I just wanted to pause and just say, it's not all Disney stuff. Like right here, there's a whole bunch of baseball trading cards, right? This is just more of like what you would expect at an antique store. In fact, I don't think I see any Disney anything. Maybe, maybe looking. No, I don't see any Disney anything in, in this section. So if you were looking for a teeny tiny what are you? An individual butter dish. There you go. Now, now you know, you can come here. I will say this is not the first time I've been here. I've been here before and found some really cool stuff already. It's still on the hunt for the exact thing I saw on Facebook, but I keep seeing stuff, which is just insane. Look, Chip and Dale. These are Chip and Dale's gloves <laughs> from their character costume. You also have a Pluto uh, collar. Look at that. These prices are not inexpensive for those. And then finally, though, look at that. The Mickey, actual Mickey Mouse gloves. Insane. Those are so, so cool. Also, if you need any um, zippers. <laughs> look, you got some Timon zippers. They're still selling these in the park. Look at those. The Mickey 50th. And so these are just so fun. Look at the tangled, the tangled uh, stein. This is what I saw on Facebook. I found it. Vintage Disney cast costumes, a dollar each. Now, when I saw this on Facebook, there was a lot more here. There was a lot less. It's been picked through. But you can see. So let's, okay, I'm going to dig through that in just a sec. But look, check that out. Where is it? What is it? Who, who wore this? It's just a cast costume. I swear I've seen this before. Somewhere. But where? This looks like house, housekeeping's costumes. Look at these integrated pockets. That's so cool. But these are only a dollar. In the bin, off to the side, there's a lot of um, like aprons. Like, I swear I've seen this pouch on like a uh, TTC employee. 
It has some, some Velcro in there. Look at how sturdy that seems. It's cool, you can also see the RFID tag. And also, you know, there's the um, label on it. Disney Worldwide Services. Machine wash cold, only non-chlorine ble bleach when needed, tumble dry low, cold iron. And then like I noticed on, uh, I think it was this one. It just tells you all sorts of stuff. No fabric softener, no dryer sheets, machine wash warm, tumble dry low. I wish my current clothes had that type of like, you know, in plain English, exactly what I need to do. No symbols or anything. Look at this jacket. That's only a dollar. This jacket's only a dollar. Oh my God. A few things had fallen to the ground, like this incredible jacket. Look at, where did this come from? Someone's gotta recognize this. If you do, like in the comments, like that would be awesome. But look at that, it has an inside pocket, these insane buttons. That is so cool. That's only a dollar. It's, that's free real estate. Like honestly, that is insane. I wanna try on this, shirt, this jacket. Oh, the zipper is broken. Interesting. So there's a piece of the zipper that is missing. Okay, let's try, let's try this on. It's a small. I haven't seen it on me. You're gonna be my mirror. I feel like I need to tilt it down so I can see this better. What does this look like? <laughs> it kind of works. Do I have pockets here? Oh, I do. Oh. It's a dollar. It's kind of cool. It's kind of nice. Who knows where it comes from? Anybody know? Anybody know where the, what cast member wears this type of red jacket? I think it works. I think I'm gonna get it. Now, this has been really picked through, honestly. <laughs> Maybe I should try this on. It looks like very large. Do a good deed, hang it back up. Put it back up there for people. Same thing with this, this also fell. This looks like something that I would see at uh, like Animal Kingdom. It feels very high quality. That's interesting, that's an XL. We'll keep this with us. We might get this. It's only a dollar. Can't, I, I, can, I can spring a dollar for the jet, the one thing that fits. I was looking at all this and that. <gasps> There's more stuff. Over here, a second bin. I didn't notice. <laughs> and this looks like a chef's shirt. Are these shorts? Oh, what on earth? You got some shorts, elastic. Itty bitty and extra small. That looks extra small. Oh, why this blue one? I, feel, I swear I've seen someone in this. That's what I want to find. Is something that like I've seen a cast member in before that I can immediately be like, that is blank. All these shirts with the integrated pockets. I'm not sure what those are. Some pants. What were these? They're very, um, wait, what? Disney has cash member swimsuits? What on earth? Are you kidding me? They have a one piece swimsuit as a cash member costume? I guess they're lifeguards. Never thought of it. I'm, I'm digging. I'm digging down. I'm trying to get to the things no one's touched before. <laughs> I'm not really finding anything else that uh, piques my interest quite like the jacket. There's honestly just too much to see. Cause like, look, this is what the camera was just on. That's a Disney Cruise Line table. <laughs> if you want a table from the cruise lines. You almost kind of get used to it all. Cause like, there's like a mirror from like some hotel. Here, let's go look at it. The Animal Kingdom Resort, right? You got a mirror and then you kind of scan over and you got a Pumbaa. <laughs> just a cutout. And then, you know, you got some China. We have a mug. Where are these mugs from? This is a mug from, oh, Fiesta, dinnerware. Okay, there you go. From the intern housing. Yeah. Opening crew of Euro Disney, 1992. That is such a cool memorabilia piece. That is so cool. And Imagineering, it says Disney Imagineering on it. Uh, I feel like you could sneak into a place or two if you own that, and that will cost you. $295. But look at that. There's so much insane stuff here. Another thing is just look at all of the pieces. Like, gosh, that Mickey. Sorcerer Mickey, an official Sorcerer Mickey. What? 
I mean, this stuff is insane. You have uh, some chairs. That's Grand Floridian Mickey chair. That's really cool. Right next to some Christmas decorations. So you got these holiday decorations. Just decorate your house with Disney magic, okay? Like, the Disney designers, I'm pretty sure, are pretty good at it. So just let Disney design your home decoration. Now, I was in the value $1 section. They also have some other costumes. So like, this also looks very, very familiar. This color right here also looks very familiar. This is the All-Star Resort shirt. So All-Star Resorts. This is your costume. What is this one? That is the, just a cast member shirt. But see, this one costs $35. The one I got is only a dollar. I, I got the deal if I do say so myself. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of mirrors. That is a lot of mirrors. <laughs> Look at the detail on this one. This is from the Yacht Club. That is so insane. The knots, the nautical knots. I am trying to move around so I don't just stay in that one spot because that definitely has a lot of like the very official Disney stuff. But there's all sorts of things in here. You can get your jello molds. Need a jello mold? You got a few to choose from. You need some Tupperware? You got that right here. I know what you need in your life. You need a steampunk mini in a special steampunk frame. Gosh, where has this been? My whole, I'm buying it. I don't care the cost. It doesn't have a price. It's priceless. Oh wait, no, here it is. This is it, Steampunk Mini. Only $200. Amazing. One thing I did see when I walked in, like straight, like right when I walked in, was a lot of pin trading. Tons of pins, so many pins. And here's just a little display reminding me of it. So you can see these more vintage, pins. Oh my gosh, they have like sealed uh, ones right there. Let me see if I can find some cool ones, some that I like. Oh, the Lilo and Stitch. That is adorable. That's a $20 pin. Wow. 2021 limited release Jack Skellington. That's a cool, that's like, seems like still pretty new. That's a $30 pin. Disney Wish, Disney Vacation Club member exclusive pin. I don't see the price on that, but that seems so funny. Check this out. I remember seeing this the last time I was here. These are so cool to me. They are the park tickets. So this is a parking receipt, complimentary parking receipt. Check that out, but you can get so like, these are all look like, oh here, here, here. Oh, what are they? The Disneyland keys, magic keys, a coupon set. These are really neat. So like the B coupon, you know, an E attraction versus a B attraction. You have these old tickets, which just seem like a piece of history. In this display case, Splash Mountain has taken over. So we got lots of Splash Mountain memorabilia. Lots of stuff. A little log. <laughs> oh my gosh, is this a sticky note holder? Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, we are back at the front doors and there are some really cool cast member costumes. This is a $350 Fantasyland costume. You got a Casey's Corner back there. The parking lot cast member. Uh, oh my gosh, that is the tiniest little Jungle Cruise thing I've ever seen. You also have this. This is a coin operated Dumbo ride. $2,300. That seems like a steal. Look at that. That is so crazy. Look at this, a photo pass. <laughs> a photo pass costume. Okay, these are not worth a dollar, like the one that I have. But, uh, oh my gosh, a three, a $35,000. That is insane. That is insane. Look at, 
Oh, it has the, it has the, that is cool. Hey, that is crazy. Also up here at the front is um, some of the pins that I was talking about. Up, must come down, Splash Mountain. Look at that. That's only $12. That's pretty cool. Look, another Splash Mountain pin. $12, look at that. There's just lots, lots and lots. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Incredible. <laughs> Hello, Cinderella. As little as $8. For, oh wait, 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 three plus four? What does that mean? Oh, this is only a four dollar pin? Start my print pin trading off right. These are the pins that you always see on the uh, pin trading boards <laughs> around <laughs> at the, uh, these are the ones that are always up there on the pin trading boards at resorts and around the parks. The bulk pins. So earlier where I got the jacket was like way in that corner. So we're gonna go over to this corner because I haven't seen any of this stuff over here yet. I gotta say, I'm less interested in just the like merchandise and I'm, I'm definitely more interested in stuff that you just can't get anywhere else. Um, like the cast member costumes and the pieces of the sets and the rides and that sort of stuff. That stuff is way more interesting to me than sort of the older antique Disney uh, memorabilia and merchandise. Some, some more modern used pieces of clothes. Here's a 50th Spirit jersey. It still has the tag on it. Look, this cost $89.99. They are selling it for, oh, drum up, $79.99, dollars off. A fresh Spirit jersey. Look at this little figment. A little figment statue. The gold 50th. That's cool, he is expensive. He's $199. Look at him, he's so happy. Mm, lots of mugs. I've always wanted a poo head mug. Always wanted that. Didn't know where to get it. Pfft. I need to pick it up. How much are you? Oh, there's one above it. That would have been way easier to pick up, but this is $12.99. There really is just too much to look at. Like too much to cover in a single bit. This is just one booth out of many booths that are in this entire building, and you also have the option of buying a chrome skeleton. I just lied to you. I didn't even realize it, but I just lied to you. Not for sale. At the very, very back, I found this big area with tons of furniture and furniture pieces. So like these chairs. Holy cow. That is a chair from Caribbean Beach. Pirate chair. Ooh, I like these. Oh, look at that. I love the... the this is a live wood chair. Look at that, live wood. You know, everyone loves those live wood edges. Wilderness Lodge. That is only $70, honestly. Not, not a bad price, not a bad price. There's three of them. Oh, there's a fourth one back there. You could have a whole set. When Shrek 4D was torn down to make way for the Minions area, this is the mirror, look at that. It looks really cool how they set it that back there. So it's like, it gives us some really cool perspective, but there you can see the Shrek 4D prop mirror. That'll only set you back $3,500. I have seen this on TikTok. And that is these, this glassware that's like radioactive, I think. So like, it's just, green glass but under black light it will glow because there's like radioactive material in there or something some 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 uranium uranium glass oh that's what i need more uranium in my life if i have hand cancer in a few years you'll know why we can trace it back to when i picked up that glass sometimes you'll just find an item that you're you just wonder like, how did this get past, like, the pitch phase? Like, how was this pitched in a meeting? And everyone was like, yes. Yes, I approve. Here's an example. The skinned Pikachu purse. Okay, this thing looks absolutely morbid. If I'm seeing this right, this is a figurine embodying the, the practice of sports medicine. That is so specific. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Okay, I actually think I've done it. I think I've walked down every single path. I haven't stopped at every booth, but 
I think it's time to check out. Let's get out of here. Okay, one dollar and seven cents later. I have my jacket. I'm out of there. Uh, it's so fun to walk through all of the different aisles and all the different booths and see what they have in there. It's, it's really, really impressive. Um, and you could spend a very, very long time inside. Now this is quite a drive. It's actually not really in Orlando. So you do have to drive. It's about uh, 40 minutes ish. You know, obviously traffic could change that away from the uh, Disney property. And then if you're like in the middle of Orlando, it could, you know, it'll be further uh, for, from there. So uh, for me p personally, it was like, a 50 minute drive to get down here. So it's not directly next to any of the parks. Uh, you do have to kind of go a little bit south, southwest. Okay, with my new jacket in the hot, hot summer heat, <laughs> I'm signing off. Thanks so much for joining me here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. I had a wonderful time. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.